Thank you, Terry. This mic seems like it's for Terry, so I'm gonna take it off a little bit. <laughs> I just wanna be short and sweet and to tell all you guys, the two biggest words for me was being a dreamer and someone believing in me. And I think that's what's really got me to the place I am now. And I have to thank a lot of people tonight for where I'm at now and to being able to get inducted into the Hall of Fame with all these great athletes and their families. To start off with my support system, and which makes me proud. Every time I have an event, it's my same support system. And uh, the great thing for me is nothing ever changes. I never change agents. I haven't changed attorneys. I haven't changed friends. I definitely haven't changed wives or brother. <laughs> <laughs> and my son and my dad. So to all you guys, I definitely want to say thank you for all your support, for being there and being here tonight, and for you guys to stand up so you guys can get a round of applause for myself. <laughs> when I was little, I used to dream a lot, and my dad and brother used to, they used to know. I used to watch my brother play out in the backyard, and I was just a young boy trying to get out there and play. And I used to dream dreams of winning an NBA championship, winning an NCAA tournament, winning a gold medal. And a lot of those dreams have came true. But I think today, I've never dreamed of being in the Hall of Fame. That was one of the dreams I never dreamed. And to make this night very, very special, not too many people get a chance to be in the Hall of Fame and to be able to get up here and be inducted with the coach that made it responsible for me to be here. So I want to say to Judd Heathcote, to the greatest basketball mind I've seen, and I've been around a couple years in the NBA. There's no coach in the NBA level, high school, or in college that I've seen has done more for basketball players, especially for me, to take me to my level, not only as a basketball player, but as a person. And I think he's a sole responsibility as far as basketball and for me being a better player and person. Judd Heathcote, I want you guys to give him a round of applause. <laughs> And like earlier when I was saying dreams, you never know what dreams come true. I walked, the first time I walked in, you know, I had college coaches, but my first ever coach was my elementary coach, Mr. Hainer. And I haven't seen him in a while. And the first person I walk in, I see him. So Mr. Hainer was my foundation. Would you stand up, please? For me to see him when I first come in and be the first person to greet me, you know, it brought tears to my eyes because I remember, Mr. Henry remembers when I was a kid about 4'11", weighing about <laughs> 55 pounds, and he always told me, if you keep dreaming, keep working hard, whatever you dream will come true. And I just want to say thank you to Mr. Hainer for everything you've done. And throughout the years, I've had great coaches. You know, a lot to name. My high school coach, Coach Golston. Definitely my assistant coach, Tom Mizzle. But I think players and players I played with throughout the years helped me become the player I became. And one great honor for me is to recognize Mark Montgomery, my point guard when I was here. The guy who always got me the ball. I think it was a little biased because we were roommates. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say thanks to Mark and congratulations to Mark and you guys. He's a coach here and I'm looking for him to become the next time and next judge, but just don't start beating your head, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> and for a few years, save me a spot so I can be your assistant. <laughs> but to all you guys, and then back to MSU, you guys, my support system, you guys gave me an opportunity. I think the thing is, I definitely throughout my mom's center, I wanted to say thanks to you guys and to all the student athletes and to give them a chance not only if they don't make it in basketball as a professional, but as a person, a human being, and as a citizen in this world. So that was for me my driving reason to give back to Michigan State and to have the Claire Bell Smith Student Academic Center, because I know my mom would be proud of me, and that's what something she wanted me to do. And she told me, when you go to Michigan State, get your academics, because you might not make it to the NBA. So I told her, I'm saying thanks to her, because I got a chance to do both. And want to say thank you to the guys and to my dad, a special thanks to you and my brother. I love you guys. Thank you.